I'm going to be talking about the Kendrick Lamar and Drake beef. Now, I know what you're thinking. Josh, you're just another white guy talking about this beef for no reason. And to that, I say, you're right. You're right a little bit on that. Um, but, you know, behind the scenes, I know on this channel, I, I like to react to One Piece and stuff. Uh, but, you know, I need I need to change that up. I'm actually a secret hater behind the scenes. I am a massive hater. So, when around a month or two ago, it's been a while at this point, Future released an album called We Don't Trust You. And, you know, on that album, there was a song called Like That. Now, when I first heard the song, I was like, dang, this beat is sick. This is awesome. And, uh, you know, halfway through the song, you hear, you hear, you know, Kendrick come in. Oh my god, Kendrick's on this song? What? And me, you know, freaking out. I've, I'm a huge Kendrick fan, you know. I'm like, well, what, what's he gonna say? What's he doing here? I didn't expect him to be anywhere near this album at all. And then all of a sudden, all of a sudden he says, motherfuck the big three. It's just big me. I'm like, oh, no sneak diss in first person shooter. I hope he came with three switches. Oh, what is he talking about? He's, he's going after Drake and Jake Cole. What? Oh my God. You know, and then, like, a week later, J. Cole releases his song, which, to be honest, I didn't listen to because I'm not that big of a J. Cole fan. You know, I like some of his songs, uh, but, you know, I'm not, I'm not hugely invested into his music. <laughs> and then, you know, a few days go on after that, J. Cole's like, hey, he goes on stage, he's like, hey. Um, uh, I didn't, I didn't mean any of that, uh, you know, Kendrick, you're, you're the, you're the GOAT, man, you're the greatest of all time, and everyone's like, this loser, he apologized, he, he said sorry, I didn't mean it, he, you're a fraud, J. Cole, fraud, you know, Drake over there in the back, He's saying like, yes, 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 cold. Yes, take all that heat. I'm going to release a song next. And then Drake, like a week or two after that, he releases his song, Push Ups. Now, I'm not the biggest Drake fan. I really enjoy some of his music, but I'm like J. Cole. I'm not like heavily invested into it. With J. Cole, I am... A bigger listener of Drake than J. Cole, but I think that's simply because just the sheer amount of songs Drake has Drake has put out, uh that that like completely there's a lot of it. You know, with a lot of songs and the hit maker that Drake is, I will admit, a lot of his songs that I listen to are really good. Now, Drake releases push-ups, and I'm like, and me listening to this, I'm like Okay, this is a nice song. This is a nice song. But, you know, as a diss to Kendrick, it's like, it's it's alright. It's alright. And then, it's a, there's a bit of silence from Kendrick because Kendrick isn't really on the internet. Kendrick Lamar, a few days after that, like a week or so after that, he releases... Euphoria. Euphoria comes out. And, and it's just like. It's just like. There's, there's, there's a lot. It's a six minute track. Six minute song. And it's just. Tearing into Drake. And you know. It is a very. Sonically. It is a very nice sounding song. Very nice. And as a diss track, it works really good. And then, Kendrick releases another one called 616 in LA, which I don't really remember that much of. 
because it came out at 6 a.m. I was asleep, so I didn't, I don't, and by the time I woke up, everyone was already talking about, oh, how's Gun Drake going to respond? Why'd Kendrick release it at 6, 16 a.m.? Which, uh, side note, chapter 616 of One Piece... Chapter 6, 16 is called Anniversary for Revenge. So, Kendrick is a One Piece fan uh, because he's getting revenge on Drake for releasing a track. I guess. I don't know. And, man. You know, after that, Drake releases Family Matters, which I have not listened to. At all. And I have not seen a single snippet of it. Somehow. I am. Like. I am probably the most terminally online person you could know. I have not heard a single bit of that song. So. I don't know what that means about Drake. But then. 15 minutes after Kendrick. Or Drake releases that song. Kendrick releases Meet the Grams. And oh my god. When that came out. That is the most sinister, it is like the most sinister diss track I think I've heard. Kendrick going down Drake's whole family, like his son, which is like, hey, your father is a deadbeat. He is a loser, Adonis. He going down to his mom, hey, your son, he is a sick freak. He goes to his dad, hey, Dennis Graham. Your son hates women. Like, ooh, okay, okay. And then, not even 24 hours later, he releases another another song, Not Like Us, which, you know, you, you, you get the song, you hear, let me turn this up a little bit. You hear, you hear the, you either hear the ones, you hear the, oh, on the beat, oh. It's like, there's so much on here that it's just like, what? You know, Kendrick's like, certi certified lover boy, certified pedophile. Oh, oh. <laughs> Trying to strike a chord and it's probably A minor. Oh, Drake is finished. Drake is finished. This, this, this is insane. What is happening? And then Drake releases a so another song, The Heart Part 6, which is a reference to Kendrick's The Heart series. Last we heard, The Heart Part 5, right before Mr. Morale. And in that song, Drake's like... I forgot to mention, uh, Kendrick made it in the Meet the Grams is saying, Oh, Drake has an 11-year-old daughter. You have a mole in your camp, Drake. There's, I got people telling me information. And then the heart part six, Drake's like, I got you there. I don't have a daughter. We made up that story and we made up all the information we gave you, including the part where I'm a pedophile. Why would you, why would you say that, Drake? Why would you want people to think you're a pedophile? And in the song, Drake's like, hey, I'm too famous to be a pedophile, you know? If I was a pedophile, I would already be arrested. If I if I was messing with children, I'm I'm already I should already be under the jail. Um, I don't think that's how it works, honestly. I don't I don't think that's all how it works. I you know let's look at uh, who where do we start? R. Kelly, he was too, he was a bit famous. Uh, let's see where he is now. Oh, he's in jail. Oh, oh, Kevin Spacey. Ooh, that's a that's a bit rough. Uh, most recently, P Diddy. He that man is a billionaire, and he is getting swatted, or he's getting raided by the feds like every other day. It is crazy. He also mentions Millie Bobby Brown, which I think is weird 
because Kendrick made no reference of Millie Bobby Brown. And if you know the history of Drake and Millie Bobby Brown, uh, you know, Drake, you know, Millie Bobby Brown is like 20 something years old now, which side note, why is Stranger Things still going? Back to the main point. Drake was like texting her when she was 16 and he was like, hey, I'll give you, and Millie Bobby Brown has said like, she was, he was like, you know, uh, you know, I can give you, I can give you some tips about everything. Stay away from that child. Stay away from her. <laughs> Drake. Anyway, I may be biased in this whole thing. This was a huge rant. I don't know. I may be biased in this whole thing, but, uh, I think Kendrick is winning this beef right now. And, um... Honestly, Drake kind of deserved this after the terrible monstrosity of an album that was, honestly, never mind. That album is ass. And I won't let anyone on the internet tell me different. I do like Jimmy Cook's, though. Jimmy Co but that is kind of... I don't, I don't count that as part of the album. Because it's, like, it's such a huge, like, standalone thing. I don't count it as part of that whole album drake deserves this for that terrible album and uh honestly he needs to take a huge break and hopefully leave the music scene for good um because because i feel like saying that anyway and this video here what do you guys think about the whole drake and kendrick beef um i think I just told you what I think. Let me know in the comments down below what you think. And I'll end this video here. Later. Peace.